Okay, hello everybody. I'm gonna tell you today how to solve for the triangle base BC and we're going to start right now. So what's going on? My name is Muhammad. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to know more about how to solve brain teasers, riddles, logic puzzles, viral math problems, and all type of mathematics related stuff, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so the problem is that we have this triangle here, ABC. The angle BAC is bisected into two equal angles of 60 degrees. This length here, AB, is twice this length here, AC. This length here, AD, is 100. So the question is, what is the length of the base of this triangle? So I'll give you some time to think about it. So what you do, pause this video, give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching this video for a solution. Okay, to solve this problem, I will go down here to this triangle I will start okay by highlighting this triangle in green okay and this other triangle in yellow and then I will uh, start by finding the ratio of the areas of the yellow triangle to the green triangle okay So the area of the uh, the area of the yellow triangle is given by half the length of AB multiplied by the length of AD, which is a hundred, multiplied by sine the angle in between, which is sixty degrees, and the area of the green triangle is can be found as half the length of AC multiplied by the length of AD which is a hundred multiplied by sine the same angle which is also 60 this is also equal to half the base the area of the yellow triangle is half its space which is BD multiplied by its height and let's call it H which is unknown here okay and the area of the green triangle can also be found as half multiplied by its base which is DC multiplied by its height which is the same height actually which is also unknown here and then we can cancel uh, this half cancels out of this half uh, 100 with 100 sine 60 with sine 60 half with a half H with the H okay and we're going to be left out with the fact that AB over AC is equal to BD over DC okay and we know that AB is twice AC so this is going to be equal to 2 so this implies that BD the length of BD is equal to twice the length of DC okay so the length of BD is twice this length. So I will call this length here X and this length here is going to be twice X. Okay, so the length of BC is going to be 3X, which is X plus 2X. Okay, now to solve for X, I will use the uh, law of sines. So X divided by sine 60 is equal to 100 divided by this angle and call this I will call this angle theta so if this is theta if this is theta and this is 60 so this is 180 minus 60 minus theta so it's 120 minus theta so this angle here is 120 minus theta so this angle here is going to be equal to 180 minus 120 minus theta so plus theta so it's 60 plus theta okay and this angle here is going to be equal to 180 minus 60 minus 60 minus theta so it's going to be equal to uh, 180 minus 120 minus theta so it's 60 minus theta so this is 60 minus 
theta. Okay, and now I will use okay the uh, law of sines. Okay, that this length here x div divided by sine 60 is equal to 100 divided by sine theta and also 2x divided by sine 60 is equal to 100 divided by sine 60 minus theta and from that I can get an equation to solve for x okay so basically x divided by sine 60 is equal to 100 divided by sine theta and this equation is number equation number one and also 2x divided by sine 60 as well is going to be equal to 100 divided by sine this angle here this angle here is 60 minus uh, theta 60 degrees minus theta so 60 degrees minus theta and I will call this equation number 2 now I will take the ratio of these two equation here okay so 1 over 2 1 divided by 2 gives us that 1 half is going to be equal to sine 60 degrees minus theta divided by sine theta and from this equation we it can be rewritten as uh, twice sine 60 degrees minus theta is equal to sine theta okay now if we, we use okay the sine of the sum of two angles this becomes twice sine 60 degrees cosine theta minus 2 cosine 60 degrees sine theta and this is going to be equal to to sine theta now we're not going to be using a calculator because sine 60 and cosine 60 can be found from this triangle here okay if we have this triangle okay where this angle here is 30 degrees this is 60 degrees and this is a right triangle this the hypotenuse is 2 this length is 1 so this length becomes uh, square root of 3 so sine 60 is going to be equal sine 60 is going to be equal to a uh, square root of 3 over 2 so this becomes square root of 3 cosine theta minus twice sine six, uh, cosine 60 is equal to 1 over 2 so it's half and multiplied by 2 so what is left is sine theta and this is going to be equal to to sine theta as well if we divide okay both sides okay by cosine theta then square root of 3 minus tan theta is going to be equal to tan theta so twice tan theta is going to be equal to square root of 3 so that gives us that tan theta is equal to square root of 3 over 2. Now the beauty is that we don't have to calculate theta here because we don't have a calculator but we can uh, draw a right triangle and then we can calculate sine theta cosine theta from that triangle. Okay, So if we draw a right triangle here where this angle here is theta so tan theta is equal to square root of 3 over 2 so this length here is going to be equal to 4 plus 3 that's 7 so this is square root of 7 okay now if we go back so so we can know theta from this angle okay if we go back to uh, equation number one 
okay, we can use this equation to calculate for x because now we know sine theta from the triangle that we just draw. So x is going to be equal to 100 multiplied by sine 60 divided by sine theta. Okay, so from equation number one, x is going to be equal to 100 multiplied by sine 60 degrees divided by sine theta okay and this is going to be equal to 100 sine sine 60 is equal to sine 60 is equal to uh, square root of 3 over 2 square root of 3 over 2 and sine theta is equal to square root of 3 over square root of 7 but it's in the denominator so it's going to be equal to square root of 3 over the square root of 7 so this cancels out of this so we're going to be 100 over 2 is 50 so this is going to be equal to 50 square root of 7 and that implies that BC is 3 times this so B C, the length of BC, which is the base of the triangle, uh, is going to be equal to 3x, and that's going to be equal to 150 square root of 7, and that's the solution. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss anything in the future. If you have another way to solve for this, please leave it down here in the comments below to help other people that might watch this video. Thank you for watching, and see you in another video.